Hey, hi everybody and welcome to Roots Asylum. We're super excited to have you all here today and we have a lot of fun things planned and we hope you guys all have a really great time. And hi, I'm Sci-Fi and I'm Cryptina. This will be super fun. So first we wanted to go over some of the rules and principles that we've created over the years. So, so Roots focuses on the fundamental truths about the universe. The world is one, we are all connected. These connections are growing stronger and faster every day. Chaos controls the connections, focus controls the chaos, and you control the focus. <laughs> and so we have some very important values and it's very important to um, keep these in mind in everything you do every day. These are very, very useful. So of course only do good. Because we are here, we are training white hat hackers, so people that will help fix the internet, future goons of DEF CON, people that can help make the internet a better place and fix bugs. Yes, we've got it. Such as, um, you might have remembered my sci-fi zero day contest from a very, from very early on DEF CON kids slash Roots Asylum. And so what we did there was we got all of the kids to participate in a contest and find apps that had a very certain zero day in them. And then what they would do with that zero day is they would report it to us and we would email the companies telling them, hey, you have a bug in your system and you need to fix it. And that is just an example of white hat hacking and what we're doing here. And so of course you always want to constantly improving and always do your best. You want to innovate and thinking long term is extremely important because at this point in the internet history, Everything you put on the internet is permanent. Anything you post on Instagram, Facebook, all of those pictures, anything you put out there is there forever. It is there for good. So you want to be very careful on what you are putting out there into the internet. So, And then of course you always want to be positive and visualize what you want. Visualization is very important. If you're trying to reach a goal, visualization is very useful. And so of course you don't want to have fun, obviously inspire others, and definitely go big and go for your dreams. The internet is a small place. Word gets around fast. So here are some good rules to follow. So it's very important that you only hack things you own. You want to respect other people's items, and you own it, you pwn it, so. <laughs> Do not hack anything you rely on because if you lock pick the, your front door and the lock breaks and you don't have the key, you can't get in your house without like smashing a window or something, but <laughs> respect the rights of others. That's pretty given. So you want to respect the privacy of the people and just them. It's also very important to know the law and the possible risks for, and consequences of breaking it. Like, Say you're gonna set up a cell phone tower, but that's kind of, that's a very gray area. So you wanna know like the possible risk for breaking it, for breaking that law and getting in trouble would be about $5,000, I think. So are you willing to take that risk? That is what you wanna know. And also another example is the American flag. So do you know that there is a law that says that the American flag cannot touch the ground? But does anyone know the consequences for that breaking that law? There is none. Nope, there are absolutely no consequences. So I just found that really interesting because they have a law but no consequences. And then also, of course, finding a safe playground is very important, such as Roots Asylum. And it is just an amazing place to learn because you have all these helpful people that can help you on your path to becoming an amazing hacker. And it's really important because you don't want to, as Kriptina said earlier, you don't want to hack things you rely on. So that's what we're here for. So I also want to explain why we call it Roots Asylum. The first word, root, it's to have a full control of a computer. Mm -hmm. And the second word, asylum, an asylum is not just a place for crazy people and cats. It is a safe place to learn, such as Edward Snowden. He is seeking asylum right now in Russia from the US government. So he is trying to find a safe place where he can continue to learn. 
And so here are just a few things from past Roots Asylum. So this is our fifth annual Roots Asylum. And we're super excited about this. And we just want to show where, about where we were five years ago. So as you can see, we have, um, for the first two years of Roots Asylum, we were actually called DEF CON Kids. And then we have a giant pile of cats from Jeez. last year. Me and Kryptina spent, and I. Kryptina and I spent a long time building that giant pyramid of cats. And then also you can see one of the badges from previous year, which is also very interesting, as you can see. And then <laughs> we have um, a picture from one of uh, the Hacker Jeopardies that we had here for the kids. And I think this is the year that my team won. I'm not sure, though. I don't it think It could we also won. not be. We, I think we did win. I think. Okay. We did win, yeah. <laughs> so that was just looking back. And I remember on our first year of Roots Asylum, we started off with about 100 people. Now look at us. We have more than 100 people, <laughs> more I'd than assume. 100. And I just want to point out that DEF CON, when DEF CON first started, they only had like 20 people, I think. So. And we're off to a very good start here. So I hope you enjoy our little contest and our workstations. And we have like lock picking stations and the junkyard where you can open up like phones and computers and see how they work and what's inside. So I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you all, and I hope you have an amazing time here at Roots Asylum.